Hi all. In this class, in this video, let us learn the various types of the principles which governs the electroplating processes. There are three principles which governs the metal finishing processes. That means the entire process of electroplating depending upon three important principles. To mention polarization, decomposition potential, and the over voltage. Let us learn one by one polarization. So before explaining the polarization, decomposition potential, and the over voltage, I would like to show this uh, animated picture of the ele electroplating, which explains actual principle of the electroplating. We can see here. So this is a ele electroplating tank in which gold uh, solution is taken. This is what the electro uh, metal rod, which acts as the anode, uh, sorry, cathode, metal rod anode and the gold rod as cathode. During the process of uh, electroplating here, all the gold ions are released into the gold solution. Then they move towards the anode here. This becomes occupied by gold particles. So after this, uh, this, uh, this is called the electroplated anode, electroplated gold. See now how it is looking like. This is basically a cathode. Uh, made up of a gold rod. This is an anode, any metal, metal rod. Applying some voltage here, electrolysis begins, and the process of electrodeposition takes place. All the gold ions are occupied the surface of this anode, and this metal rod becomes electroplated, especially the, here in this example, gold electroplated rod. See now, metal rod becomes electroplated. This is what the application of electroplating. So now with this, let us begin the today's video with the polarization explanation. So what is this polarization? How it controls the electroplating? The polarization is an electrode phenomenon. Already in the previous modules, we had studied the meaning of electrode potentials, definition of electrode potentials, various concepts with respect to the electro phenomenon. And the electrode potential is measured by, determined by the non-stick equation. We also studied this non-stick equation derivation. A lot of numericals we learned in the previous videos or previous classes. So this is the E equals E naught plus 0 0.0591 divided by N log of metal ion concentration. That is concentration of Mn plus here, Mn concentration of metal ions surrounding the electrode surface at equilibrium. So whenever the reaction mixture at the equilibrium, at that equilibrium condition, Mn plus stands for the concentration of a metal ion, which is surrounding the electrode surface. When there is a passage of current, that means whenever we apply some voltage, the current begins. The metal ion concentration near that potential electrode surface decreases only near the electrode surface because here Mn stands for, Mn plus stands for concentration of metal ions only near the electrode surface. But when there is a passage of current electricity, that part electrode concentration decreases. Why it happens so? It is due to the reduction of some of the metal ions into the metal atoms where the metal reduction takes place near the electrode surface. Electrode uh, redu reduction reaction takes place. Due to that reduction, concentration of a metal ion decreases. Why? Because all the metal ion concentration becomes metal here. So Mn plus plus a number of electrons gives to the metal. Almost all the metal ion gets converted into metal atoms. And hence, metal ion concentration decreases. So due to this, there exists a concentration gradient between electrode surface and bulk concentration. That means there is a concentration gradient develops between the electrode surface and other side. Because electrode surface, there is a minimum concentration. And now bulk concentration means out, out of that uh, electrode surface. Due to this uh, difference, there is a concentration gradient developed. Therefore, there is a shift in the equilibrium and change in the electrode potential. However, the equilibrium 
re-established due to the diffusion of metal ions towards the electrode surface. This is a permanent. Even though there is a change here, so almost all the so some of the metal ions are present at the bulk. From that bulk towards the electrode surface where it is a minimum concentration will be there, towards that diffusion occurs. That means equilibrium is re-established. And therefore, this can be defined as the process where there is a variation of electrode potential due to the inadequate supply of the species from bulk of the solution to the electrode is known as polarization. You can see this animated picture in which the concentration of a metal ion moves towards one side. This is an electrode, cathode. So towards that side, here all the ions move towards that side. Here, anode, there is a reduction reaction occurs. That means the concentration of a metal ion here decreases because all the metal ion gets converted into metal atoms and move towards the cathode. Here, the concentration of a metal ion decreases in the left side. And this is not a permanent. Further, from the bulk side, they moves back. Diffusion occurs. This is a continuous variation. And this is called polarization. Thank you all. In the next class, I'm going to, in the next video, I'm going to explain you the second principle of the electroplating. Thank you once again.